Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm Zero. DK. And I'm Rizzo, and today on Anime Reaction, we watched the 8th episode of Rokudonashi Majutsu Koshi to Akashic Records. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding! If you want to check out our reaction to the 8th episode of the Akashic Records of the Bastard Magical Instructor, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you'd like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga and don't forget to like and share our videos. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Uh, yeah, this episode obviously set up for the climax of the, you know, third episode of the arc. Since they're doing one novel per three episodes. Mm. Well, we start off real still pouting. Yeah. Well, actually, it goes kind of beyond pouting to full on sulking. <clears throat> um, we get some heavy handed uh, foreshadowing with the alchemists. Mm. Talking about uh, how the research of the divine. I forgot, I forgot what the whole. Oh, the villains? Was it divine research? group or something. The evil like people. That. Yeah. Evil uh -huh. incorporated. I knew somebody was going to do that. Yay. Magnificent. You don't know you don't know the the level of control that I had to that I had to put upon myself not to make an Edward joke. I totally said Nissan. Uh, I was about to say Nissan kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to go more the uh, Ray Ayanami route instead. So you guys are spending the Nina Tucker joke for now. Yeah. Um, Until Y2Y. Good job. But yeah, I thought it was it was obviously some heavy-handed uh, foreshadowing. It was probably done a lot better in the book, to be completely honest. Yeah, instead of that awkward conversation. <clears throat> well, I didn't think the uh, conversation was that awkward. It was just... Um, it, was, it was just the fact that it was like... Hey, here, we're foreshadowing, we're foreshadowing this, pay yeah. attention to this. Yeah, that's why I thought the dialogue felt a little awkward, a bit forced, but we got it, the point. It was just that it was too quick. Yeah. I'm sure that in the book that was probably like page 30, <laughs> and, well, maybe not that early, but like page 30, and then the reveal of her brother was like, you know, page 130. And probably in the book we get to listen from a character's point of view, and that probably made it flow better, I think. Yeah. But, anyway. I don't know, it, it definitely was... This this episode in general kind of just flew by and was just... Meh. Like, I'm, I'm supposed to feel all these all, all sorts of different emotions, and I feel, I feel, you know... Mm -hmm. I feel a little of them. I think the episode was meh right up until um, Riel assumed the backstab position. And holy crap. Unfortunately, I saw that coming a little bit. Oh, <clears throat> no, she... I saw that coming, like, majorly. But still. Uh, getting Glenn backstabbed was... by that. Oh, man. That's painful. My back hurts just thinking about it. Did I see that picture in the word boner in the same? Yep, you did. Oh, wow. Top 10 anime betrayals? Hmm. Not really, but the fact that he's totally hey, going to hey. survive the backstab from the big giant sword Damn. is bullshit. I call bullshit. That, that should have easily severed his spine. Or it looked like she aimed a little bit off a lung. Uh just destroyed yeah. his heart. Yeah. Yeah, that should have yes. been a that should have been a one way ticket to destination fucked. <laughs> this isn't the kind of penetration I wanted today. You think a man wants to be penetrated at all? <laughs> exactly. It's not the type <laughs> that he wanted. Oh my. Too much plot armor now, Minless. At this point it's plot magic. Yeah. Oh, he's st he's still alive, so we'll do, uh, what was it, white magic something or other. Revival. Yeah. Revival ritual. Yes, yeah, so Albert gets the bright idea to do some advanced magic, and he wants to use uh, our white cat as a battery. 
Well, that is basically her role. I mean, this is the second time that she's had to act as a battery. Mm. Um, She'll keep going and going and going. And also did CPR. Yes. And that's not CPR that's mouth to mouth, but I digress. Mm. Yeah, right? That, the, the, that close up. So not only is she a battery, but she's also a breathing machine. <laughs> she's just a really hot medical accessory. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, the close up of her lips, though. Holy shit. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what else to really talk about this episode with because, like, yeah, like pretty much all the middle episodes of the series, you know, since we get three episodes per novel, all the middle episodes of the series are all kind of like that. It's like, well, it was set up. Now that's how you build a harem. <laughs> Forceful, I guess. There needs to be there needs to be a third girl there because that, that right side is just empty. It, it seems so weird. Yeah, get on it, guys. <laughs> Also, yeah, combat made is fucking crazy. <clears throat> combat undead lich undead, thing? Undead, yeah, necromancer. I'm not sure what the hell she is, but... Kind of like it. Ha ha. Ha ha yes, the end card healed my soul. Need it after all that shit. Actually, a little uh, chibi theater thing healed my soul. Yeah, <laughs> I'm taking Rumia. But yeah, that that was pretty messed up the way that they uh, they played Riel. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's actually her brother or if it's something else. I'm actually wondering if Riel is uh, doing this of her own volition and not just being brainwashed or persuaded. Yeah. Well, and then. Um... And then, uh, yeah, I just think because of the conversation that was going on beforehand where they're talking about the enemy mages stole the research and completed it, Mm -hmm. it just makes it so obvious that it's like, well, this is her brother brought back to life, but technically not really because it's just a copy, Mm -hmm. and they probably made the copy exactly the way that they wanted to. Yeah. I keep thinking of that one episode of Gravity Falls where Dipper makes copies of himself. The cursed copy machine. Anyway. Uh, so, Rumia was injured. It looked like they healed her injury, though, because, like, she still had, like, dried blood on her stomach. But I think the injury was healed, is what it was. Mm. I don't know. It's certainly weird. Yeah, there was a lot of blood in this episode. Anyway, Rumia dies, we riot. But she ain't. I don't know. I yeah. Take so, Sistina. Sistina. Uh, yes. I like Sistina better. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time. And go ahead and see on my face to go to our most recent Otaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the white face to subscribe to Otaku Saga. And if you'd like to help support us, please go ahead and check out our Patreon page. 